February 2017, an article on the Iranian Sika Thunderbolt fighter. Billed as Iran's first domestically built jet fighter to enter operational service, the Sika. Fast forward and we are again greeted with headlines for yet another 100% indigenously made fighter jet, this time a state-of-the-art two-seater called the Koser. And yet it appears identical to an F-5F Tiger II two-seater jet. If anything, it is far less original than the Sika, which has airframe modifications including enlarged strakes and twin vertical tail stabilizers. The Koser doesn't appear to have any external changes from the F-5F. How was this jet even worthy of the photo op with Iranian President Hassan Rouhani in the instructor's seat for Iranian Defense Industry Day? It happens there really is a program to build a combat-capable Koser advanced jet trainer. It simply wasn't the aircraft on display this summer. According to Iranian aviation expert Babak Tagli, the Koser may merely be an avionics testbed, a regular F-5F fitted with new avionics, rumored to be of Chinese origin, eventually intended for use in the Sika fighter, spruced up with a fresh coat of gleaming paint for the photo op. The testbed used may date all the way back to Iran's first attempt to reverse-engineer the F-5 in the 1990s, the Azarich. This was because the real Koser 88 wasn't ready yet. Iran had announced back in 2013 it was developing a Koser 88 trainer which could also serve in the light attack role. In 2017, footage of a prototype undergoing taxi trials was unveiled which you can see here. Though influenced by the F-5, the prototype is a different airplane and is much shorter. Interestingly, it bears a striking resemblance to the Taiwanese AIDC AT-3 jet trainer. Details are scarce, but the actual Koser 88 apparently would have a digital glass cockpit using three multifunction displays and uses two J8513 turbojet engines reverse-engineered from the F-5. The public has had short memories as President Rouhani also attended a ceremony showing off the Koser 88s in July 2017. Even the most uninformed observer can compare this Koser to the one displayed August 2018 and see they are not the same airplanes. According to the European Defense Review, 16 domestically built Koser 88s are planned to take over training duties currently undertaken by the more capable Sika jets in the next decade. Iran will attempt to acquire additional J-85 engines on the black market, but if that fails, will cannibalize the parts from 12 older F-5A and B model aircraft. Meanwhile, Tehran reportedly plans to deploy 50 single-seat Sika-1 fighters and 14 two-seat Sika-2 fighters by rebuilding additional rusty old F-5E and F-5F airframes. Depending on the status of international sanctions, Iran may also seek to procure Russian Yak-130 or Chinese JL-10, AKA-15 Lira Falcon, supersonic trainers. Versatile trainer light attack jets continue to be popular with militaries across the globe from China's minus 15 lira, to the Nigerian Alpha jets fighting Boko Haram, to South Korea's F-A-50 Golden Eagle, which has seen a lot of combat in the Philippines. In addition to being forgiving stepping stones for training fighter pilots to fly more demanding aircraft, advanced jet trainers can perform counterinsurgency and strike missions far more cost-efficiently than a high-performance jet fighter. Supersonic trainers with radar can also perform light air defense duties. Of course, these are not the sort of aircraft one uses to fight off F-15 Eagles or F-22 stealth fighters, which is precisely the major threat Iranian defense have to worry about coming from the United States, Israel and Saudi Arabia. Instead, programs like the Koser reflect Tehran's plans to shore up fighter pilot training and sustain the number of operational airframes capitalizing on the raw material furnished by America prior to the Iranian Revolution, if international sanctions curtail foreign procurement, as seems more likely since U.S. withdrawal from the nuclear deal.
The latest episode with the not kosher fighter illustrates yet again the casual dishonesty of Tehran's propagandists. Iranian industry wanted to display the Kosar 88 for an expo, which does appear to be a real airplane. However, the actual Kosar 88 wasn't ready for display this August, so Tehran simply took an old, very well-known jet fighter and claimed it was a new one, in full view of domestic and international audiences that would know better. The irony is that Tehran doesn't need to be ashamed of its resourceful use of old jet fighters. In the nine-year-long Iran-Iraq war during the 1980s, Iranian fighter pilots fought one of the most intense air wars in recent history defending their home soil.